scariest point for me was when I was lying on the kitchen floor, a bottle of drink in hand, and thinking, I want to die. And, and, and that was the scariest thing for me. Because um, you get to that point where nothing else matters, and um, you know your family, your friends, as bad as it all sounds, you, you lose focus of what, what was important in your life and you concentrate on yourself. And I can't understand why people take their own life because at that point you just want to go, you want to end the pain, um, you want to end the emotion that you're going through and it's, it's the low that can't be described that some people find it hard to, to, to get their head around and, and, and why people also take their life. But at that point I was ready to go uh, and I remember just thinking starting planning how I could do this um, as bad as it sounds so I think there's also a point that you come to where um, how, no matter how much you want to tell someone um, how much pain you're in or how much distress your, your mind's in and how low you feel it's a hard thing to, for people to get their head around is that you can't talk as much as you want to talk and tell someone how much grief you're going through or how much stress, uh, how down you feel or how you're having these suicidal thoughts, you shut off from the world and it's a hard thing to, for people to understand and it's a hard thing to explain that you, when you get to that point uh, of no return, you, you just, you can't speak, you can't speak and, and, and what it does is it pushes people away and, and then at that point you, you start losing things. And when you start losing things in life, it then pushes you down even further. And then that's when you get to the point where you feel like you can't go on. Um, and, and all the thoughts start coming through your head. What I would say is the, the important thing for me to, to turn, what turned it around was obviously family and friends, being in contact, but having a why again in life. At that point, when I felt so low, I didn't have a why. Things were about to change, uh, and it could be, you know, it could be in from, you know, a partner to a, a family member, a, a friend, or just an activity or something you enjoy. But having that why, having that reason to live, that reason to refocus on what was important, and something that gives you the inspiration to move forward in life and not look back. And the key about all of it coming out of it was moving forward, and, and that's all you can do in your mind is keep moving forward. You're gonna have a days where things will just crush you and you will be literally running or walking, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing activity wise and you will just burst into tears. I've had it many times. It could be a song, it could be an emotion, it could be something as, as bad as the traffic lights turning red just as you get to them. It can, it can upset you and the, the bipolar will take you up here and it will take you lower there. And for me, the medication at the time really you know, help me balance that out. Then moving forward was personally activity, fitness, and, and, and making a statement to myself that if I was to get better, it was me that was going to have to make the change. As much as family and friends and that support network is there for you, you need to have that priority that you need to make the change, and, and that is important as well. This is a key point for someone who's you know, someone you know of is going through a tough time uh, is reaching out for them. If you can, just take that minute to text someone, to phone them. Go and look through your phone book now. Look through your phone book now. Is someone that you haven't spoken to that you know is maybe going through a tough time? And reach out and, and get in touch with them. It could make the difference. It could be life saving. It's that simple. Uh, you know, talking uh, or, or doing anything like that could change someone's life in an instant. If you are the person sort of going through everything, there's five key things that you can do uh, to get through it uh, and try and develop yourself and try and work on being stronger. Uh, it's one of them is stay connected. So stay in connection with people that you don't speak to a lot, maybe your family and friends, you may be shutting them away um, and, and you're starting to lose touch a bit. Try and, and, and reach out and at least tell them how you are. Get active. If you can get out and about for a couple of minutes of the day, you know, out in the park or get some fresh air, or, you know, call a friend, go for a coffee, making sure you, you 
getting a routine. For me, routine was massive. Making sure you got up at that same time every day, even if there wasn't anything that you could, you know, if it was just going to your job and coming home, make sure you keep your routine. Taking notice, so when things get tough, uh, when things get to the lowest point, for me, the biggest thing for me was uh, when I've done CBT, which is a great thing to look at, is knowing your trigger and knowing when that you need to take notice of when it's getting too much. So it was a very, uh, you know, a really low point where I, I, I text a friend and I reached out and said, look, I'm worried about myself here. And it's knowing that trigger. So, you know, looking at CBT and speaking to your doctor and your psychologist if you're, if you're getting some counselling, CBT is fantastic. Next key point is learning. So always learn from you know, your past, your, your history, your memories, things that have shaped your life. Learn from it to move on, to move forward. That's all, always keep that in my mind. Moving forward is the most important thing you could ever do. And always see, you know, these things in, in your eyes, they only look forward. So you need to keep moving forward and that's a key thing. Always learn from what you've done in the past. And a great thing as well for people is to give your time. You know, if you can get out and change someone's life by, you know, volunteering in a, you know, a shop or going out to an activity, uh, helping kids, anything like that, giving your time, it's a great way of making yourself feel better and it's an opportunity to grow yourself, develop skills uh, and move forward in your life as well. But that feeling of giving something back to people is fantastic. So if you want to get involved and you, you want, you know, you're concerned about someone, um, you want to go onto the website, here are the details for the website and make sure that you do reach out to someone and make sure even tonight when you go home you, you talk to someone who's maybe in need or just reach out if you haven't spoke to someone for a while. It's so important these days to keep in touch because suicide is on the rise, people are going through problems, you know, every day of their life is on the rise. You need to keep in touch and support people as your friends and family will be there for you the most. And if you are fighting, keep fighting, keep moving forward.